guys, it's Shelly. In today's video, we're going to be going over the single jump rotation. I'm going to be breaking it down and basically explaining how we get that full rotation and what goes into it and what steps we need to take in order to get that full rotation around. All these basics with the single jump rotation will be super helpful for you with your double jump rotation as well as your triple rotation. So this is universal. It goes with any level, really. This is just the absolute basics breaking it down. So let's go ahead, let's dive right in. All right, you guys, the first thing we wanna focus on is our lift or our takeoff going up into the jump. So right now we're not gonna focus on rotating, we're only gonna focus on the takeoff. So right now, what I'm going to be focusing on is my knee bend. So when I take off right now, first, we're gonna talk about our arms. So left arm in front, right arm up to the side if you are a righty, right arm in front, left arm out to the side if you are a lefty because you're going to be rotating this way as a righty, this way. So what I'm going to do is focus on my knee bend right now. So when I jump up, I'm going to sink down and lift up. So if you notice, I'm flat on my feet, I sink down, I push up through my toes. Okay, that's going to be very important. And I want you to pay attention to my knees too when I jump up. So right now, take a look, I sink down, jump straight up. When I jump up, I straighten my legs. So I sink down, I push up, and straighten and lock my legs. And I even straighten up my whole body too. It's very important that when you are jumping up into the air, you get that proper knee bend, you push up off and through your toes, and as you're pushing off through your toes, your legs are going to straighten out. If your legs do not straighten out, you're not gonna get maximum height. So if I stay down on my knees here, even though I'm pushing through my toes, I'm not getting very high, am I? So here, from the side, here's proper takeoff. You notice my shoulders are over my hips, my hips are over my feet. I'm gonna sink down and push up. Sink down and push up. So if you notice, I got some nice height there because that extra stretch that you take as you're pushing off the ground is going to give you more height. Now really quickly, now check it out when I don't straighten up my legs and I don't stretch. Am I jumping very high? No. In order to get your full rotation, you need to get height. If you don't have a lot of height in here, your rotation is going to struggle then trying to get all the way around. You need to give yourself as much height as possible so you can complete that rotation in the air, especially when you're first starting a jump because we're not gonna be very snappy getting into that rotation right from the beginning. Another thing I wanna to mention too, our arms. I sink down, my arms open up. I take off, my arms snap up. So really quickly, let's go through this exercise because the arms are important. This is the snap of your jump. So I'm gonna open, snap, open, snap. And if you notice, only my right hand, or left hand if you're a lefty, my right hand is the only one that's moving. So since my right hand is the only one that's moving, my left hand stays in front the whole time. Or if you're a lefty, your right hand. My left arm, does not swing open, it stays put, it stays here. If this shoulder starts to open up, I'm in trouble, my jump start is gonna start to be tilted. So right now I want you guys to try just jumping straight up. So right now, the arm is going to swing back and through, back and through. So you're gonna sink down, and as I sink down, my arm swings back. As I jump up and push up, my arm's gonna swing up to the hand. Ready, and back, through, back, through, back, through, back, through, back, through. So I want you to work on just jumping up. Focus on getting that good snap and that lift. It's gonna be very important for you. When I work on this, I wanna get a timing down. When I get that timing down of the knee bend with the arm movement, that's gonna help us in our second point that we're gonna be going over which is the snap. So basically for that first part, you wanna focus on your lift 
of your jump. The bigger the jump, the better. How do we get this lift? Knee bend, we push through the toes, we straighten out the legs as we're pushing up into the air, and then of course we're stretching the body with it. Okay? So, keep that in mind. And also, just a quick note, when you're doing these, when you land, it's the same thing as your takeoff except reversed. So as I land, you're gonna notice my toes are gonna be pointed in the air. I'm gonna land on my toes and then go flat on my feet and sink down into my knees. My knees work like a spring, okay? So this spring is cushioning our jump from our takeoff into our landing. So right now, we're gonna just try that jump up real quick. Jump up, land. So if you notice when I land, I reach down for my toes, I sink and I flatten out my feet. It's the same thing on the ice as well. So when I place my feet too, my feet are gonna be placed right under my hips. My hips in turn are placed under my shoulders, okay? So this is how we wanna start this jump. Now we need to talk about the second thing that helps us get our rotation, which is a snap. So when we're doing a single rotation, we're not gonna fully be in this air position, okay? We are going to just kind of be here in this position. So our arms are gonna be a little bit more open. I want you to think about your arms just come together here in the air. It's not gonna be here for a single. You're gonna be a little bit more open. You might feel like you have to pull in a little bit more, which is fine. But as you get more and more used to this, you'll start to open up a little bit. So that's why you see me so open here in the single is because I'm used to it. That's just the way I do it. If I pull in anymore, I'll over rotate it. So right now let's talk about the snap. The snap is basically the part that happens after you do your nice big lift. And it's all about the timing and placement of the snap that's going to make this successful. So that's very important. So right now we're gonna go over the motion of the takeoff into the snap. So when I do this jump, well, when I first take off here, I actually start with my hands in front together just so I get the timing down. So I'm here, I'm gonna sink down, open up my right arm. And as I sink down and this arm is fully extended back, that's when your knees want to be as low as possible. That's when you want to have your lowest knee bend. And we're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. As I'm doing this motion, I'm engaging my core. I'm not letting my core get ahead of my hips. My shoulders and my hips are staying together as I'm doing this motion. So now I'm going to face head on to you guys. So you could see the twist or the snap position. Feet under the hips. Make sure your knees are over your toes. So I'm gonna start here, straight legs. Now I'm gonna sink down and swing this arm back. So I'm gonna go down and up, down and up, down and up. So right now in this position, this is the position that you're gonna hit in the air. Right now we're just doing it on the ground to get the feeling. If you notice, my hips and my shoulders are now facing diagonal because this is where our rotation is gonna start. You don't see my upper body twisting like this. This is not what we want. When you start to twist too much with the upper body and your shoulders get ahead of your hips, it's gonna make you tilt it. So that's a little exercise you could do to get the motion and the feel of that snap. If you don't have a very strong, quick snap, then your jump's not gonna rotate as quickly. So right now I'm gonna do a single and I'm not gonna snap fast at all. So I only got about halfway around. That's because I didn't get into my air position quick. What is our air position? It should be stretched. If you're crunched, remember, if you're crunched, your jump's gonna be tiny. If you're stretched, your jumps are gonna be bigger. So if you don't snap up into that stretched air position with the snap of the arm, that rotation is going to be weak. So now I'm gonna try doing it a little bit quicker. So 
if you notice, when I'm jumping up into this jump, my arm goes from here up. But you'll notice my upper body is not really moving around a lot. It's because my core is nice and strong. My core is keeping my hips and my shoulders together and working together. So when I jump, I feel like my shoulders and hips are square and they're a unit. My abs are engaged and tight. If you feel like you are relaxed in your core and you feel just a little bit, let's say jello-y in your core, we need to work on your core strength a little bit. So one thing we do not want to do is get out of alignment. Your shoulders and hips need to be level in order to keep your jump straight up. When you're jumping, you're not focusing on this rotation right now. You're focusing on first the lift and the takeoff. As soon as you lift off the ground, that is when you want to focus on that snap into place. If you're focusing on the snap before you lift, your jump is going to be whipped. A whipped jump is not what we want. So a whipped jump would look something like this. Do not do this. If you notice, my upper body got totally ahead of me. My hips were falling behind. And in turn, my landing, I felt kind of whiplashed, which is not good. You don't want to feel that way. You need to be nice and strong. Focus on your jump. So if you're having trouble with whipping the arms around, focus once again back on that snapping exercise. And try to going in little quarters. Go up, quarter, up, quarter, up, quarter, up, quarter. Try doing quarters first, then try doing a half. Go up in increments. Do not just try to do the full on single if you haven't done that yet. First work it piece by piece. Get the control down. And keep in mind, you right now you might be trying to do a quick snap, right? I hope so. But let's say it's not working out because your body's not used to it. That's where practice happens. We have to work on it, we have to practice it. Don't expect to do your double right away first try. You have to take it in increments and you have to get used to the quickness of the snap. These are the keys though that you need in order to get these rotations. You need to have a strong takeoff. You need to have a quick snap. You need to make sure your body is stretched as much as possible. And you have to have those toes pointed in the air. You have to push up through your toes on that takeoff. If your arms are out too much, then you're gonna slow down your rotation. If you don't stretch during your jump, you are going to slow down in your rotation. If your snap isn't quick, you're gonna slow down in your rotation. If you don't get maximum power on your takeoff to get height, you are not going to get your max rotation. So that's the breakdown of the single jump rotation slash getting maximum rotation in the air. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.